Um, I know. I just want to touch on this a little bit. I don't, did you hear how Lil, you know Lil Keed, uh, Young Thug's artist? He passed away recently. No, I have not. He was that. only 24. So I think um, all of a sudden he had stomach pains. Mm -hmm. I think he had um, alcohol addiction issues for a long time. And I think, yeah, his liver. I had a situation like that. Uh, right. Not too long ago. You know, uh, my pancreas, my liver, you know what I'm saying, and my kidneys. It was just all messed up. And, uh, you know, it's the sharp pain right here in my abdomen. I barely walk. I had to hunch over and all that, and I still had to perform and do oh, shows. Wow. And then finally I got home, and my wife got this thing called Keto IV, which... You can make your own saline bag. You ain't even got to go to the hospital and get the IV up in you to get hydrated. Mm -hmm. You know, my doctor gave me a, a mug that shows the percentage of water I drink. He said, drink at least uh, two of uh, these mugs a day and you'll be fine. Um, but you know, I drink like three or four of that saline bag water like that and regular water as well. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? The smart water, cucumber and lime. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I had, to, I had to leave it all alone. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's just a shame that that happened to that young man. But, um, you know, God is good. You know what I'm saying? We're going to live until he stops us from, from moving as much as we can try. We all have an addiction to something. And, you know, um, you know, alcohol or whether it's drugs, you know what I'm saying? Either or, you know, these are demons that you have to fight yourself. You have to fix yourself. Right. So, you know, hopefully you can do it before you be taken back up. Right. Yeah. I think last time I interviewed you, you had told me you had two seizures. I did. Back to back. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And that's when I went to, uh, to the hospital, to my doctor in Utah. And that's when he told me about the whole ram Yeah. So, you know, you got to be careful. They instantly pinpointed that to the alcohol, though? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Through the blood tests and the whoop wop and the wham. And, you know, he came to me and he told me exactly what the issue is, what the problem is, and what to leave alone. And you got to change your diet on the things you eat. You know what I'm saying? Add more fruits and vegetables to the table, less red meat. Uh, chicken, fish is good. Less dairy, you know what I'm saying? Carbs, you know, less of that bread and stuff like that. You know, I'm like, wow, so you want me to be a vegan? <laughs> I don't think that's going to rhyme. You know? Oh, no. You know, God's going to take me away because of this good meal. Yeah. You know? I got to have me some of that, you know what I'm saying, short ribs. All right. You understand me, man? I got to have a little bit, you know, just a nip. You know what I'm saying? But it's all right. Yeah. We getting it together. Do you mind if I ask how much you were drinking? Was it like a daily thing, nightly thing? Like how? Yearly. <laughs> okay. Yearly. Every day, all year. Got you. Hell yeah. I mean, you know, I'm living my best life. Man. Right. I wake up, I got to have a shot. No have way. a beer, watch me some TV. Go downstairs, play my my uh, boxing game, fight night with Mike Tyson, start beating everybody's draws off. You understand me? With my shot, my beer, and then do some business on the phone. My wife say, okay, you want some breakfast? I'm, I got my breakfast. Damn. You need some bread. <laughs> On an empty stomach, though? Hell, it wasn't empty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was full of that patron. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that was a meal. Right. But yeah, that's why, you know, it's, it's going to catch up to you. But we talking about, I ain't just talking about this year and last year. I'm talking about since I was uh, right. about 24. Mm. I used to drink before, but not like 24 on when Pac brought that uh, Hennessy to the table. Once oh. he brought the Hennessy, it was over. Oh, it was over. <laughs> Got that Hennessy, and that's what changed the game. Wow. Nonstop. And that Hennessy was my thing, and that was every day, all day. <laughs>
So, you know, yeah, about 24 years. I mean, uh, what was it? 24 years old. That's crazy. All the way to recently, you know what I'm saying? Right. In and out, that is. I, I took a three-year break at one time and took a two-year break before. And then, uh, you know, now I'm back on a break. You know, I'm cleanse glad. it out, clear right. it out, and get back to my three meals a day, you know, get back to eating and getting the weight up. and You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you go through your ups and downs, but when you got a good support team, it ain't that hard to get it together. Yeah, I feel like all we need is the flower anyways, right? I mean, 